its purpose is not to be any one thing. The big reality is that the vast majority of my experience with FlexBlock is people asking me if they can come to my class so they can hang out with their friends. But the average human being gets about four hours of mental work a day out of their brain. Everything beyond that is just wasted. So I don't really see a problem with having an hour of the day where somebody can shut their brain off when you have to sit around for five hours and try to think. Um, so right now we decided as a you know, leadership team coming out of the pandemic, um, prioritizing extra help and making sure that students, uh, based upon our first quarter interim grades, where there were 13 pages of DNFs given, um, we sat down as a staff and looked at that and said, you know, we need to prioritize. There was also concern about um, kind of the general culture here. And, I, and again, this is my first year, so I, don't, I can't speak to it specifically. But the open campus did not go well. And I think part of that resonated with FlexBlock and people wanting structure and making sure that you know we run a tight ship here. So that was the that was the reason behind it for this semester. I'm Autumn Matthews and I'm a sophomore. I am involved in ski club and girl rising. I think it is a little bit difficult to balance going to practice after school and homework on top of going to clubs if it's not in school. So the exclusion of clubs from FlexBlock at least the way that it's been presented to me is not a permanent thing, but rather a adjustment. Uh, so I guess the thing is, like, you have to understand he's, not just him, like him, Miss Buckley, the super, the assistant super, like the, everybody's so new that they need an opportunity to sort of wrap their head around what we do with the time that we have. And obviously coming into this year, there's a lot of concern around everybody's like workload, mental health, all that stuff. And so, right or wrong, there's a concern that in FlexBlock, if you make a club meeting, then kids will prioritize the club meeting over um, extra help. So I use FlexBlock to get homework done. Um, no, I don't use FlexBlock to meet with clubs. Okay. I, I agree that we should disclude club meetings from FlexBlock because I feel like that should be a time to get our homework done and clubs should be met outside or before school. So when I first heard about the decision to exclude club meetings from FlexBlock, I was disappointed. I host a couple of clubs and I was really looking forward to having them meet during FlexBlock to give more students an opportunity to participate because a lot of kids are involved in stuff after school and so the more opportunities during the day to participate, the more likely we are to get more people involved. Um, after we've gone through a few weeks though, I see now why we did it and I support it now. So at the time I didn't support it, but now I think that it's a good idea because had we pushed it through without really giving club advisors time to kind of think about how they wanted to implement it, how they wanted to roll it out, how we were gonna make sure that passes worked, how kids were in the spot that they were supposed to be, I think that that could have been really chaotic. So I'm kind of glad that we took the slower approach. I think it'll still work really well in semester two. We couldn't figure it out fast enough, quite frankly. Um, if I had to do it all over again, we would have spent time over the summer and really nailed down a policy so that we could have done clubs and activities starting in September. I disagree because I think that it's more beneficial to meet during school, especially because everyone's there, whereas out of school, it's kind of more difficult to juggle schedules. And then were any students included in this decision-making process? No, they weren't. Um, I had a number of students ask me if they could meet as clubs and activities and they um, I remember the young medicals professionals club in particular um, really wanted to meet during during flex block Th the truth of the matter is I would love for clubs and activities to meet during flex block my former school district had X block instead of flex block it was a very creative name um, but in in that time period we allowed clubs and activities to meet and it increased our enrollment in all the clubs and activities because students couldn't participate before school or after school because they're simply too busy. So, you know, moving forward, it's something that we will, we will certainly do. If we were allowed to hold club meetings during Flux Block, do you think you would participate in more clubs? Yeah, I do think I'd participate in more clubs during Flux Block because it would make it easier for me to meet during school rather than before or after. Standard one to two two flex blocks, partly to have clubs and activities meet. And I think our current structure of flex block is not our ideal structure. Um, and, it, and it exists for a particular reason this year. And I think 
what you'll see second semester will start to be more like the flex block we envision.